this is a video tutorial from Bioinformatics Review and today we are going to show you how to perform site specific docking. We already have an article published on this but on the special request from our readers we are going to show you how to use auto dock tools. So for first of all we need to know what are the binding and catalytic sites in a receptor for site specific docking. In some cases where these binding sites are unknown we go for blind docking which I will tell you a little later. So let's get started. We will be following the same tutorial and our protein will be human serum albumin, ligand will be sodium octanoate and as we can see it is the structure is already complexed with a ligand known as CMPF. So first we are going to remove this ligand and then we will dock our ligand in it. I will tell you how to do this. So we need PDB files for our protein and for our ligand. Uh, the protein PDB file can be downloaded from protein data bank. Just click on download files and here PDB format. And the ligand file you can download either from PubChem, from Zinc database, it depends on you. And I am using sodium octanoate also known as sodium caprylate. So just scroll down. Oh sorry, it said I need to reload it. You just need to download the 3D conformer. Yeah, here click on download download the STF file and here you can see I have this PDB file and here is STF file we are going to convert it into PDB file using PyMol let's have a look at our protein file open it in any editor here you can see there is chain B and these are head atoms. Head atoms represent our ligand which in this case is CMPF and this protein has only two chains A and B and we are going to keep only one chain with us that is chain A because we need to dock only with one chain so we will remove chain B and head atoms from our protein file. While you are deleting the chains uh, from PDB file please make sure first that your ligand position is uh, in is not in between the two chains because sometimes it happens the ligand may bind with the some residues within the chain A and some residues within chain B so you will in that case you will have to keep both of the chains so uh, that's why please make sure first the uh, proper position of your ligand open it in any editor here you can see there is chain B and these are head atoms. Head atoms represent our ligand which in this case is CMPF and this protein has only two chains A and B and we are going to keep only one chain with us that is chain A because we need to dock only with one chain so we will remove chain B and head atoms from our protein file and it will look like this there is only chain A and there are no head atoms okay so we have prepared our protein PDB file now we are going to prepare our ligand PDB file open your terminal open PyMol just open your uh, ligand file mm, here open it then again go to file save molecule it is already selected click OK I'm gonna name it as so.pdb and here it is saved okay so we have prepared our pdb files now we will move to the next phase where we will convert them into .pdb qt files which is a format recognized by autodoc vena so in order to do that we need to use autodoc tools if you have already installed them just open them use the alias or you can give the full path first of all we will prepare our ligand file we just need to open our pdb files and then had to follow some steps and then your files are ready so let's go for ligand first open click ligand input open and here I'm going to click all files. This is my ligand file. Open. It is showing some summary. That's okay. Now again go to ligand. Find the torsion root. Detect root. 
and then again output save as pdb qt remember you are saving it in the same folder save it okay so we have prepared our login pdb qt now i'm gonna delete it from here <coughs> now let's prepare our protein file go to file read molecule open your chain a protein file pdb file open it okay so first of all go to edit delete water again go to edit go to hydrogens and polar only and then click ok alright here you have added hydrogens now I'm going to save it as PDBQT go to grid um, macromolecule choose select this one and then okay no no more okay that's fine save in the same folder as dot pdbqt you can see it has changed its color so your pdbqt file is saved now i'm going to the to define the binding residues within this protein and here click here you can see there is only chain a after click here you can see all the residues present in your chain so i'm going to select my binding residues from this and i know i already know the residues for this protein binding residues and you can you if you are doing it with a different protein you can uh, find the binding residues either from the paper associated with your 3d structure or you can search the literature so the binding residues for this protein hsa are these i'm going to find them and then i will select okay so first is tyrosine 150 lysine 199 you can search them here just scroll down 150 these are the different forms of representation how do you want to see them i just want to select it and color it by rainbow and here you can see this residue has been selected similarly i will select other residues next one is lysine 199 it's here again color it by rainbow next is arginine 222 again color by rainbow next is histidine 242 again color by rainbow and the last one is arginine 257 again color it by rainbow so here you can see <coughs> all my residues has been selected now i'm going to define a grid box and i'm going to fit all these residues within that box only so go to the grid click on grid box here you can see there is your grid box okay but it's not set yet so i'm going to slide all these windows to adjust all the axes so let's start with the red one okay you can do it like this okay let's go for blue you just have to fit all these residues inside it the if if you can if you realize that the size of the box is small then you can adjust it from the center coordinate from here you can increase its size it depends on as per your needs okay so i'm just gonna slide uh, this axis this one okay okay you have to be careful while doing this because you don't want to miss any selected residue out of your box so it's still small in size let's increase its size a little bit and just here do it like this 
now you can see all my residues are inside the box okay all right okay all right okay my grid box is ready so i'm just gonna save all these coordinates in a file and then we will use this coordinate later so click on file output grid dimension file grid.txt save it then again go to file close saving current we have prepared our both of the pdbqt files here for protein this one is for ligand these are the coordinates file and now we need configuration file where we will tell the autodoc vena what is the protein what is the ligand what are the coordinates so the format is also given in the article you can see here this is the main format this is the name of your protein ligand coordinates another coordinates output file log file so the name of the protein is okay ligand is okay just open your grid file and you can see here these are x y and z coordinates copy them and we will change these coordinates this one was x this one is y okay and this one is z coordinate we did not slide any other window so we are just gonna keep them as same as they were this is my output file name and this is my log file okay just save this file and go back to your folder now I'm going to tell you how to perform docking uh, what is the command for auto dock vena is type vena dash dash config my configuration file name conf.txt dash dash log my log file name is this log so.txt and then hit enter sometimes it takes a few minutes depending upon the configuration of your system and after it finish it will generate uh, eight to nine poses here it has generated nine poses with the first one having the lowest binding affinity with the RMSD value of zero so you can analyze your results using pymol i'm just giving you a rough idea uh, we will cover all the analysis part in our next video so in order to analyze first open your pdb file open and then open your vn output file here and you're gonna have to preset them to cartoon here you can see this is your ligand with this showing interactions <coughs> and you can change your poses from here like this so this was all about site specific docking it's not much complicated you can try this and if you have any query you can write us at either info at the rate by informatics review.com or mini by the rate by informatics review.com or and if you like reading by informatics articles so you can follow us at facebook here this is the url and if you like the video please share it thanks a lot